Hello everybody, today I have with me Mr. Steven Chandler, um, and he uh, is part of the international programs here at Harding, and he's going to tell us a little bit about um, everything that's going on around here. Where, uh, where, do, where do our students typically go abroad? So we have a dozen different study abroad programs all over the world. Uh, we have six uh, semester-long study abroad programs, three of them in Europe. We have an England program, a Florence, Italy program, a Greece program, and then three outside of Europe being based in Latin America, Zambia, and we call this one Australasia for all kinds of places it goes in Australia, New Zealand, and Asia. So those are the semester long ones and we have some other programs as well, but those are the big ones. And so earlier you mentioned uh, stuff about the um, department specific programs and can you tell us a little bit about that? So yeah, the department specific programs are what we call um, the other set of programs that are not the six semester long study abroad programs. Department specific programs are built uh, by different departments on campus, as the name indicates, that's geared towards students within those majors. We have programs for um, students that are studying art that can go to Europe and see and experience all the artwork there. We have programs for um, our business students where they go to London for a month and get to meet with all kinds of international businesses in their boardrooms and learn about the business world. For education majors, they go to Scotland and get to um, get some experience in the schools there. Uh, people interested in music, the music department leads a trip where they travel all over Europe and study music and the history and culture of Europe. For our um, athletes, since they have a hard time getting away from campus to play, you know, since they have to be here to play their right, sport, right. They, uh, they have an opportunity to go to Italy, Greece, and Germany over the course of a month where they still leave in time for workouts mm -hmm. for those students to not get too soft eating all the gelato in Europe. Right, right. And then for our uh, biochemistry students, uh, they can help out at a research hospital in Florence getting some great uh, first-hand experience and class credits. And I've actually learned about some of these programs for the first time today, so uh, we're learning together. Alright, so... Um, What, what are some of the classes, like during the normal liberal arts uh, study abroad programs, what are some of the classes that, that they cover over there? So the six semester long uh, programs teach liberal arts courses, and that means that those are classes that every student must have regardless of what they major in. So it uh, doesn't matter what you choose to major in, you can go abroad because basically you're saying I'm going to take those liberal arts classes either in Cersei or overseas. So you might as well go overseas might as well. and see the world and get those same classes done with that way. At all of the semester long programs, you're going to have at least two required courses and maybe a third. One of them of course being a Bible uh, course, another one being a humanities course where you will study the history and culture of whatever portion of the world you're living in, and that class will actually take the place of, can, can substitute for different other required um, classes. It can count towards your Western Civ History, your English World Literature, or your um, Music, Art, or Theater Appreciation course. So that's a required course that rests have the Humanities course, and then if you go to Italy, Greece, or Latin America, you're also going to take a, a language course. And while you're thinking, you know, I may not need to know modern Greek for my degree plan, you may not specifically need to know modern <laughs> Greek, but um, it does count as a global perspective. Any foreign language does. So modern Greek, Italian, Spanish will fulfill one of your six required global perspectives courses. During most of the semester long uh, study abroad trips, there's independent travel. And can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, yeah, so especially like our European ones. Um, you know, you're only able to be overseas for a certain number of days uh, without some special extra visa. So what we do is we stop the program, the, the final exams take place, um, and they still leave some days left on your allotted time in Europe, let's say. So um, you could come right home um, when the final exams are done, or you can elect to spend your last few days of your visa, you know, usually about 10 days or two weeks maybe, backpacking around Europe with your friends. So that gives you the chance to plan and budget and execute uh, you know, the extra trip of your dreams. Go where you want to go, yeah, see what you yeah. want to see and experience. Yeah, and if, if you go somewhere like New Zealand, like we did, um, you can go and jump out of an airplane, uh, which is pretty fun. And I'm, I'm sure I could put up a picture of me doing that at some point. But thank you again for uh, 
being on our uh, channel. Absolutely, thank you for having me. Mm -hmm.